Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer courtesy of my friend Aaron. He sent me an awesome box from New York, one of my uh, best friends in New York, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have missed uh, some of my New York beer reviews, so uh, now we have one. So this is from KCBC. This is Kung Fu Karaoke. This is in collaboration with Mars in Chicago, and their general awesome labels from KCBC. Uh, some cats and some crazy hero outfits, and they're karaoke real hard. This is a 5.5% DDH IPA brewed with Citra Mosaic, Amarillo, uh, Simcoe, and German Sapphire hops. This was actually can seven weeks ago. Didn't really quite get a chance to uh, review it recently uh, since it got to me. So, Let's see how it holds up. I'm really excited. Digging back into the, some of the, I mean, even though New York is not New England, uh, you know, it's one of the uh, capitals of New England IPA. So really nice. I, I know a lot of you guys miss uh, some of my reviews from there. So beer is absolutely beautiful. Comes in that um, medium to light gold color, has a medium plus haze to it, not completely opaque. On the nose, classic. Wow, that's mangoes. There's a, a bright kind of uh, zesty grapefruit note. Some of that creamsicle. That's a killer nose. There's also a little bit of that kind of a uh, geranial kind of uh, uh, rosy note. It smells creamy. It has like a creamsicle kind of tone to it. None of the lactose or vanilla or anything. This is just classic, straight up New England IPA. Just a lot of hops, all dry hopped. It smells awesome. Cheers. Wow, really ripe, pushing kind of tropical fruits in there. Uh, really intense kind of mango, aromatic, and then maybe some passion fruit. Awesome. Big impact, 5.5%. Wow. A lot of your New England IPAs hit at 7, 8%. Punchies up front. Really great combination of that kind of uh, mango, passion fruity kind of uh, tropical note. But then there's a nice zestiness that comes in. Hmm. Yeah. Beautiful zippy kind of, how to describe it? It's a... Uh, Mandarin orange. It has a really kind of tropical-esque citrus note uh, to it. It's a really intense, um, almost like tangelo kind of thing. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Creamy mouthfeel to it for 5.5. It's not a big, thick, chewy uh, New England double IPA, but wow, I would have guessed this was maybe 6.5, like a little bit bigger of a beer than what it is. It obviously washes away uh, quite nicely. It has a little bit of that kind of... Um, barely malt to it, but it, has, it washes away without that kind of uh, malt stickiness to it. So that's sort of your trick to find where the beer's a little bit lighter, sort of wash away quite nicely. And then on the back end, it's actually a little bit of that kind of strange kind of like um, dried herb note. You know, maybe this not the freshest can, maybe it's hops playing through. Honestly, it tastes a little yeasty. Flavor-wise, without the hopper. That's fantastic. That's just crusher. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've had a, a New England uh, IPA of this quality. I mean, obviously, um, breweries like um, Pry have sent me a beer. Um, but at 5.5%, this is so well executed. I, I find it very rare uh, having a New England IPA at this ABV of this quality. As for rating, let's go with a... Mm, wow. Killer. Uh, this beer is getting a solid 96 for me. This is Kung Fu Karaoke, absolutely fantastic. KCBC is killing it, constantly improving their New England style IPAs. I've been very impressed with them. Uh, certainly uh, one of, yeah, I mean, I think they're already known by now, but like just killing it. De definitely one of the names to check out if you're in uh, New York City, because obviously a lot of the names include Finback, Other Half, um, Interboro, Grimm. KCBC definitely uh, crushes uh, some of the beers. LSC Beer Project, they're all in that same kind of like realm of awesome, awesome New England IPA producers. And this is another great example. Absolutely fantastic. Until next time, guys, cheers. Post in the comments below, let me think. And uh, really excited to bring you some more uh, local New York beer coming soon. Until next time, guys, cheers. Later.